Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily read, uh, daily tarot reading I should say for Saturday the 17th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave what needs to be left for others. Okay, so what do we have? Please angels, spirits, guides. What is the message that people need to hear the most? Saturday the 17th of April 2021 and remember my readings can resonate a few days longer than when they're released okay sometimes you see the reading exactly when you're meant to see it okay I'm just going to take the ones that have fallen on the table so three cards I've got forgiveness you're ready opportunity Interesting. Forgiveness, you're ready. Opportunity. Forgiveness is a form of release, so we don't carry toxic energy with us. So let's pull some cards and see what we get for the day. What is the message, please, that all signs need to hear? Saturday the 17th of April 2021. Message for all signs please, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. I've got however many cards there, so I'm going to put them like this. Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Wands. I'm going to clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, okay, so we have, yeah, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. And let's clarify this Two of Cups. Five of Cups, yeah. I'm definitely getting this energy. Somebody is regretting something, wants to make it right. Um, and there's an opportunity to forgive here, move on. Because, you know, interestingly enough, the, there's a kind of message that something's happened here and obviously this Ten of Swords energy is not easy energy. It can be about betrayal, hurt, deep wounds, uh, being stabbed in the back. And you just want to put it behind you, take the reins of your life, move on. However, something it feels is holding you back from completely detaching from the situation. Because if the battle has finished and everybody has gone home, why are you still standing guard and being ready to fight? There's definitely this energy of... Um, it feels like the, it feels like unfinished business. It, it feels like something is making you hold. I'm getting this energy of hold back from detaching, moving on, because I'm definitely, you know, I'm getting definitely in this energy that somebody wants to heal. There is an offer. 
and I'm getting this offer coming from this two of cups as well somebody is sorry somebody wants to heal it feels heal whatever rift whatever fallout this was somebody regrets their actions now the two of cups is a bond between two people it can, that can be in whatever context yes this can be in terms of love romance relationships it can be family energy uh, with another family member it could be with a friend it could be to do with somebody who you're deeply connected to at work you know it's generally where there's a deep bond with somebody and i'm definitely getting this energy of somebody is wanting to heal they want to heal uh, the ace of cups is an offer of love ultimately you know it's a new beginning energy it's a sense of emotional rebirth emotional renewal um, it's a cup of joy something is holding you back from moving fully on and putting a situation behind you yeah because you know we have the nine of pentacles yeah i'm standing on my own two feet i have my own self-worth you know self-esteem i can provide financially for myself the nine of pentacles is somebody who feels pretty good they do they feel pretty good they feel abundant they stand in their own light you know it's a lovely lovely energy of you know if there has been some kind of split in whatever context this is for you this is somebody's doing okay on their own however there's definitely some kind of news information conversation coming your way the eight of wands is a, it's about action it's about change it's about news information conversations um to bring change generally the eight of wands can bring change to a situation uh progress find the flow you know and i'm definitely getting this energy of, of the ten of swords which can be about betrayal hurt deep wounds loss um yeah it's, it's a tough energy but it feels it feels in this situation it feels in this situation you have the eight of swords can be to do with limited thinking inhibited thinking um prisoner of the mind energy i'm definitely getting in this energy somebody it feels like you might have cut somebody off to protect yourself yeah it, it definitely feels somebody has cut cut somebody off to protect themselves However, there is conversation, and it might well be for some of you, that they've tried more than once. I do feel in this situation somebody wants to bring change. For whatever reason. Because there's regret. You know, and there's a kind of perseverance energy here somebody it feels in this situation is persevering because they want to it feels an energy of, of not everything's lost here there's still hope in the situation because you know even though this person is staring at the negative there's still two cups full of uplifting energy and it feels that the hope is still there and i'm definitely getting that with this two of cups which is an offer to reconcile um to re-establish a bond it just feels somebody is trying to persevere here to, to make something right. And the message is that it's time to consider, you know, if this reading resonates for you, it won't resonate with everybody, obviously. But it's certainly it's time to consider moving on from focusing that which was negative to focusing on the positive, the potential of re-establishing the bond um there is definitely some kind of loving offer or an invitation coming your way somebody wants to make it right there's regret here it just feels like there's a lot of regret 
and because and I'm definitely getting this blocking energy I mean you might have blocked them on the mobile clearly but you might have also blocked them in terms of communication not talking to them um, it just feels like you know the bubble of protection around you you know you're putting up the barrier the bubble of protection here and um, the knight of swords is again a conversation communication information coming your way um so it definitely feels in this energy somebody is trying really hard really hard to make something right and re-establish the connection with you the bond with you and there's definite hope here i have to say there's definite hope so i guess it's take what resonates with you the cards are Forgiveness is open to you right now, an opportunity to, to release. And what are you releasing from? Negative energy that can keep you stuck, that can keep you in some kind of bubble, you know, and you can decide whether that's healthy for you or not right now. The message is that you're ready. So for some of you, you're ready to make peace with somebody and it feels that now is the time for the opportunity to happen there could well be some opportunity coming your way you know phone calls messages email letters uh, you know some of you may well receive that too you know some kind of physical communication um you know more than just a phone call it, it feels you know somebody might be trying a number of ways to contact you here but i'm definitely getting in this energy there is an opportunity to make something right and that's what they want to do because they regret it feels they regret losing you as a friend as a family connection as a you know in love romance relationships i mean call it what you will uh, it feels in this respect somebody wants to make it right Yeah, we have inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but, play, but stay safe. And we have precious time. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' times either. Yeah, it definitely feels in this situation. Yeah, use your time wisely, you know. Um so powerful energy for somebody so that is the message i have for you today like i said it won't be for everybody uh so uh, you know certainly to do with matters of emotions it's always a difficult one so the message is go within trust your intuition and that will be your guide with the cups energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful day for you all and i will see you next time thank you